I'm Eric Naso for Newshooter.com. The Aperture 300D is a bright light, like 10,700 lux bright from one meter. I did a review of it when it first came out. I noticed that it has a green fringe issue that you can see if it's in a softbox or if you have the modifier on. Aperture has addressed the issue. It took a little time, but the engineers figured it out by changing the color correction glass filter with a new one. That fixes the green fringe issue. This is what it looks like when it's shipped. The included instructions are very easy to follow. The kit is basically a replacement front element. This whole piece here that looks like a dome has a glass filter in front. In order to take this whole piece off, it's basically about five screws. The kit comes with a special screwdriver to get those screws off the front. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. <laughs> Trust me, it's a lot easier to do if you're not trying to shoot it at the same time. Now that we have the front cover off, all we have to do is take off the front dome to replace the filter. This part's easy, it only has two screws. Wow, check out the cooling on that COB. Simply attach the new filter and reverse the process. All done. That was easy. Let's see how it performs. I retested with the Sekonic C700. As you can see from these scores, the filter is doing a very good job. Not only is it fixing the green fringe problem, but it actually is making the light more accurate. The extended CRI is improved, as well as the spectral distribution. And white balance is much improved, more neutral now. The 300D is a very versatile fixture. It's bright, uses that versatile Bowens mount, and packs a punch. With the new front glass filter, the 300D is performing even better than the original. Okay, well that's a wrap. I'm Eric Naso for Newshooter.com. Make sure you check out the site for more news and gear reviews.